here uh, just to sort of tee off on the report you just heard there looking at balance of power in the Senate and obviously the magic number there for the majority is 51 with four toss ups. It's anybody's guess how this will go on election night to secure the majority in the Senate. Diving into that Senate race there in Arizona you look at these candidates in the fight of their life neck and neck race there toss up uh, Mark Kelly the Democrat uh, trying to hold on there Blake Masters making a run for it. I'll dial into Maricopa a county in just a second but we're also watching the governor's race in this state obviously Carrie Lake that very uh, recognizable name the former TV and uh, anchor and reporter uh, gaining a lot of popularity running a far-right campaign in that state uh, has run a really tight race there with Hobbs so we're watching both of these races come election night 9 p.m. closing time uh, you just heard um, uh, Alicia talking about Maricopa County you look back at the presidential election of 2020 and you realize just how important that county is going to be with 60% of the votes coming in from the entire state from that county home to the capital Phoenix and obviously a lot of the campaigning that you've seen Pinal County as well uh, Tucson you've seen a lot of campaigning on the ground but when you look at Maricopa County that swing county in Arizona that is going to make all the difference you are reminded just how close it got last time around uh, with the difference of 45,000 votes in the entire state when you consider 60% John of the votes coming from that one county it came down to just 2% margin uh, in Maricopa County. So that is going to be key. And John, I just wanted to leave off uh, with a little bit of a what if in the Senate, because those four uh, key toss ups that we're watching, mm -hmm. if you saw the Republicans secure a victory, let me just kind of fill these in with the direction we believe most of these states are going to go. But if Republicans are able to secure victory in Arizona, you know, reporting on the race that we just did, You've turned this red and a likelihood that they could uh, turn Nevada red. All of a sudden, you've got Pennsylvania and Georgia that could go to Democrats. But that, at that point, you've already got Republicans securing the majority. So that is one of the cases that could be made for control of the Senate come election night. Uh, Rick Scott, who's in charge of the uh, NRSC, is predicting 52 plus tomorrow night. We'll be talking with Newt Gingrich. More about this coming up. By the way, just back on that Senate race, Kelly in the RCP average uh, is ahead by one point. So it's close. That, that race is tick yeah. tight. No question about All right. that. All right, Sandra Mordecai.